Yeah. Nah, nostalgia. Oh, g'day mate. Here we are back in the boat shed. Um, in the past, I've talked about how much I love Star Trek V, The Final Frontier. I think when we unbox Spock here. But um, it's become a punchline, Star Trek V. I think because of the simple fact that Bill Shatner directed it. And as we can see in Captain's Log, a book about the making of the film, here's William Shatner being a cameraman too on set. I think it is a masterpiece. In my humble opinion. Oh, we also have the VHS tape version. How exciting. Riding your bike to the video shop. Renting this thing out. It's an old fashioned space adventure. People have criticized it for bad special effects, but I prefer it over like modern day CGI crap. I don't watch the superhero movies, people with capes, the Avengers. I've seen like one Iron Man film. I think it peaked with George Reeves in the 50s as Superman, and it's been downhill ever since, in my opinion. Also, <laughs> so this is one of my favorite films. Um, some other ones would be Psycho 2 <laughs> and um, The Burbs with Tom Hanks. You know what all of those films have in common? Jerry Goldsmith scored it. He was the composer and the conductor. The music in movies is very, very important. Um, I think I like movies more for the soundtracks. And also, if it's pleasing to look at, you have Yosemite National Park in Star Trek V. You have the wasteland of the planet of galactic peace. Um, then at the end, well, spoilers, go and watch Star Trek V before you watch any of this. <laughs> but at the end, you have like the rock things that come out, like an old episode of Star Trek, the original series. Do these people not know what this product is supposed to be? Star Trek, the original series was cheap, but the acting and the music propelled it to something much better. And that's what Star Trek V is. So why am I talking about Star Trek V The Final Frontier so much? We got a new product in. New. From 1989, Star Trek V The Final Frontier, The Star Trek Enterprise by Ertel. E-R-T-L. Diecast Metal. Ooh, a little blurb on the back. Cut and collect replica cards. I will. To boldly go where no man has gone before. Registered trademark. This now famous phrase captured the imagination of millions when Star Trek first aired on network television in 1966. My God, has it been that long? Since then, Star Trek has had an ever-increasing number of followers. Even after the final episode of the original series on June the 3rd, 1969, the number of Star Trek fans continued to grow. Why is it telling me so much about fans on this toy? The original TV series currently in syndication in the US and other countries, Australia, was the flagship for many movies, such as the newest movie release, Star Trek The Final Frontier. Back on Earth, Star Trek followers have emerged as strong as ever, with a continued enthusiasm in the Star Trek legacy. Earl is proud to release a Star Trek Enterprise replica that will let you relive past episodes or create your own new adventures. Relive past episodes. This is the NCC-1701A. Sorry to get all fanish on you, but this was only in two films, the first of which is Star Trek V The Final Frontier. I guess it looks like the original series a little bit. 
Um, but the real reason I bought this is because the air in here is getting too fresh. We need to get some 1980s air. Breathe it in. Inside this capsule is air from the year 1989. And we're going to get to it. Ready? It's decreased in value significantly now. Okay, cool. I think we can glue it back together and resell it. I think that's not allowed. Okay, it comes with a little stand. Okay, you got the Star Trek Enterprise. Stick it in the hole. That's what she said. Oh, no. Oh. Ta-da. It barely stays put in the stupid black stand. Oh well. It's lacking like the decal on the warp nacelles. Um, <laughs> the deflected dish isn't blue. It's written all over it. PPC copyright. Do you think the real Enterprise had this embrazened on it? Dyersville, Iowa, USA. Made in China. Well, at least we got to breathe some China 1980s air in. Huh. Well, can't recommend Star Trek V The Final Frontier enough. For instance, it even had a video game. Doesn't this look like the best cover ever? Like you would play this game. Oh look, collectible pins. A little booklet for the game. Doesn't that take you back? That's cool. And look, a not so floppy disk. So if I had my old computer, I'd definitely play this. If only there was something else from Star Trek V that I could use right now. There is. Whiskey, Spock, Tennessee Whiskey. Is this a collectible? Ah, it cleans your teeth too. Just like mouthwash. Thanks for watching Star Trek V The Final Frontier Merchandise. Update. I just went up to the shops to the t-shirt section and have a look at this. Cool Star Trek t-shirt. Where's Captain Kirk? They got Spock Uhura, Sulu, even Dr. McCoy. Gay Pride Rainbow. Oh my. Where's the captain of the ship? Was this t-shirt designed by George Takei? I was gonna buy it, but no Captain Kirk, no sale. Has Captain Kirk been cancelled? So maybe another reason why nobody likes Star Trek The Final Frontier. Captain Kirk went to space for crying out loud. Well, I mean William Shatner did. Meanwhile, he's not on this t-shirt. Where is he?